like Everton's a boss club, like boss yeah. academy and all that. But um, yeah, lad, just never quite hit the heights that I was expected to, lad, and then just had to move on. What are you thinking, mate? Obviously, you're a kid, Everton, your whole life, and then you've got a fan somewhere new. It's mad because you've always been like, Looney plays for Everton, the footballer, blah, 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 blah. But then when you get, when I got let like, go from Everton, lad, it was like, it's like I'd lost my identity, do you know what I mean? <laughs> What is happening? We're back again for another episode of the Chat and Pony with Paddy the Baddy. Familiar surroundings, we're not over no Zoom today. We've actually got my man in the studio, so introduce yourself, fella. <laughs> John Lundstrom, um, Rangers, ex Sheffield United, uh, Scouser. That's it, he's one of our own. One of our own, I tell you. It was mate, lads made up, wasn't he? Long he put us in touch, lads, to get you on, know what I mean? No, I was, lad. And text me saying Paddy's in such day getting a podcast said to him yeah 100% like, yeah get me it was on. funny lad I'm going to ask you obviously later, I'm just, I've got to mention straight away I need to throw him under the bus right away lad but yeah <laughs> when he done when he done the podcast lad I asked him hey, what's your your top 11 starting 11 you yeah. know what I mean and he only messaged me before like Oh, lad, I just remembered. I forgot about Lunny in me, <laughs> in me starting 11. The best oh, I've played with. And he was like, oh, sh lad, to yeah. f tell him, lad. And I was like, nah, you forgot about him, lad. You're getting through lad. under the bus. <laughs> We're in the day, like, I'm not going to lie. So we'll do that a bit later on, lad. Your top, like, your, your starting 11, the best starting oh, 11 you played with. Have I got to throw yeah. him in it now? Uh, nah, he's getting leg now, <laughs> Lonnie. He's being yeah, leg now, defo. But obviously, let's go from the start, lad. You're from Liverpool, yeah. Been playing football your whole life. You got the dream, lad. Everyone from Liverpool wants to be a footy player, lad. Like, even when I was a kid, lad, I wanted to be a footy player. But what yeah, was it lad. like for you growing up? No, boss, lad. Just normal upbringing from Garston. Um, played for Springwood when I was growing up. Anthony Gornell was in, in the same team as me and all that. Yeah, he's a year old. Anthony went to your school, didn't he? Anthony got that's funny that you've mentioned that. Yeah, had... As long he said, ask him about Springwood. Yeah, it's lad, we, we were that. heavy, lad. We won everything, lad. Me, Longy, Anthony, a few other kids. A couple of lads from Dingle, Lee, um, Luke McGrail. I had a few heavy little players, yeah, one Everton as kids and then just went to Everton lad at seven. And um, then just progressed through the years and um uh, 21 when he let me go, lad, and then just just cracked on from there. So all the way through Everton, you was was detailing you to be like starting eleven player and then Yeah, lad, like at one point I was doing brilliant, lad, and touted to be the next big thing and all that, but obviously just never quite hit the heights what what I was expected to. Um, Got to ask first, are you quite, a red or a blue? I'm a red lad. Oh. Yeah, I'm a red Killer. I'm a red. All the coaches used to cane me at Everton. Even better, you never I used to go to, I used to go to Everton training in my Liverpool kit lad, when I was a kid, <laughs> and like, the coaches used to cane me, lad. They used to call me a redneck and all that. But um, <laughs> nah, lad, it was a boss. Like, Everton's a boss club, like boss yeah. academy and all that. The coaches are, the coaches are unbelievable. But um, yeah, lad, just never quite hit the heights that I was expected to, lad, and then just had to move on. So what, obviously, Everton... It's not your boy or club, but it's a local team. What are you thinking, mate? Obviously, you're a kid, Everton, your whole life, and then you've got a fan somewhere new. Yeah. That like, I wouldn't know where to begin now. Obviously, if I had to leave my gym yeah. and go somewhere else, lad, and I wasn't there as long yeah. as you, you were there, what? If you had got picked up when you were seven there, 14 seven to years. 21, lad, yeah. Yeah, heavy. I've only been in my gym for like 13 years, yeah. and I couldn't imagine. No, it is, lad. It's like... I couldn't imagine going anywhere yeah. else now. No, I've seen you say so on time ago when you got beaten, you, you felt like you... The walls are closing in on you and all that, yeah. lad. It was horrible. When I left Everton, lad, it's mad because you've always been like, Lunny plays for Everton, the footballer, blah, 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 lad. But then when you get, when I got let go from Everton, lad, it was like, it was like I'd lost my identity, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I had to move down south and all that. Um, but it, it ended up saying like, one of the best moves in my career in the end. But yeah, lad, leaving Everton, lad, it was scary. Like, it was like I'd always been there, it's all I ever knew. And then just, just one day, it's just gone, lad. And then your, your identity's gone, you're no longer... Lunny plays for Everton, lad. You just Lunny plays, so he's just plays in League Two for Oxford. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. mad, lad. Your you world just changed overnight. Is that what it went from? Yeah, Everton to Oxford. Yeah, lad. Yeah. So I've got let go from Everton, and I had like a few offers, and then I was just waiting and waiting for for the Championship offer to come. Turned down like a few decent League One offers, and I was just waiting for that Championship offer to come, lad, and yeah. it just never came. Um, and then in the end, all the League One offers had, had faded away. This is like the end of the the end of this getting towards the end middle of August now. Um, and then Oxford just came, lad, and ended up being one of the best moves in my career. Well, get your playing time and stuff like that. Yeah, lad, just happiness, like football happiness, moving away, getting away from all, all the shite up in Liverpool, lad, concentrating solely on footy. Manager was boss down there, boss set of lads, and then I, I obviously ended up playing well as well. So, and then we got promoted that year, ended up kicking on again. So, yeah, it turned out, turned out boss, lad. It's sick, lad. Obviously, when you're younger, you want to get into the first team when you're 17 and all that, like like what people like Rooney yeah. do and stuff like that. But the way you've done it, Taff, like the proper way, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you've went down the divisions and come all yeah. the way up them. 
It's it's funny, right? Like, lad, some of the people you meet down in them leagues, I imagine. That <laughs> long you were telling yeah, me, that long you say, and Ben Garrett, you were saying yeah. it as well. Like, when you're like, when you're in the boxing, like, League One and Two, yeah, lad, lad, you just do what you honestly, want. You're just like enough. pinching each other yeah. under each other's armpits yeah. and that, and poke elbow on each other in the ribs and stuff. It's funny. <laughs> players you make it from an early age from Evan, lad, you don't get a life, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all these superstars, you know, he's never had a proper life, and I debated that, me, lad. I, yeah. I reckon, obviously, Obviously, of course, you want to make it at 17 and forever, of yeah. course. I did, but saying not the way I did, lad, I've had like a, like a boss career and like some of the memories I've got, lad, at some of the lunatics down in them <laughs> leagues, like the nights out and that. Some funny characters down there, lad, honestly. But, but yeah, lad, this is one of yeah, the Yeah, definitely, lad, I know what you mean there. There's definitely well more characters that we don't even know of in like League 2 and League 1 yeah. compared to the Prem. Oh, lad, man. Because you can't do nothing in no, the Prem. No, you can't, you can't do nothing in the Prem. There's you, just... can't, you can't move. You scrutinised every move you make, do you know what I mean? Go out for one bevy with your mates, lad, and you I mean, everyone's just calling for your head. It's mad, lad. Social media, the the papers nowadays, just madness. But lad, I know what you mean there. I know that one because when I was in America, lad, I went and watched the baseball game, the Padres, San Diego. <laughs> the belters, lad. I went and met some of the players, but I went and met some of the yeah. players, lad. And a video got went online of yeah. them playing beer pong, and I yeah. was there. So, lad, the next day they lost. And I got the blame on. Yeah. Like, I was getting hounded by mad. pure Padres fans. Not the way they were on the beard all night before the game. <laughs> no, because, lad, they play like. They have like 162 games a year. Do they, yeah? Yeah. It's a hell heavy start. <laughs> they bad. play like one in two, two nights a year. It's That's mad. They do like three that. games on the bounce, have one night off, and then do go some, travel yeah. somewhere else and have three games on the bounce. That's mad, that. I didn't realise how much yeah. they played. Lad. That's like the opposite end of the scale to the NFL then, because the NFL only played yeah. like 12 games yeah, a year. Yeah, 12 so games, like and, that, then the, and then the Super Bowl, isn't it? Yeah. Them American that's sports are just mad, lad. I don't really understand most of them. I can't get me around any of them, lad. Footy. That's what we only, know, lad. The only one, lad. Yeah. The only one. I'm boxing and MMA, lad. The only one. So, if you, you won, when did you win League 2 or just get promoted? We came second. Came got second. Promoted, lad, yeah. So, you've got like a, a promotion medal from 2-1 yeah. championship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah lad, all, all three, them, yeah. That's three, that. yeah, lad, so. Did you? It was the playoffs with Sheffield United, though, yeah. when you just won in the championship? No, no. We, we come second in come the championship. Come second so again, there. Yeah. League 2, come second, promoted. I got a League 1 winner's medal with Doncaster when I was on loan there from Everton when, yeah. I, was about, when I was a kid. Um, and then promoted with Sheffield, yeah, and came second that year. Um, yeah, lads, so free, yeah. Didn't even, I've never even thought about it like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah that's, that's what I thought, Brad, right? Yeah. I, I thought, know, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got, like, promotion medals from yeah. all three of, the, uh, three of the divisions. Yeah, lad, no, I've never even thought about that. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Pelter. laughs> you got four, lad. Start telling everyone that one. That can be his little one of parties. He's playing to fame, lad. Yeah. <laughs> lad, you know, I got promoted. Yeah. <laughs> <million, lad. laughs> that's what I mean, though, lad. That's, like, the sick way up. That's what you see on, like, films and that. Yeah. That's the, like, people don't, yeah. it doesn't happen like that. It's only like special players, like, as we said, like Rooney and people like that no, and Gerard are breaking into the yeah. team that young. It's hard though, lad, when you, as I said there before, when you were saying about when you lost your fight that time, you you couldn't get out of bed, lad. When when I had to move down to Oxford the first two weeks, lad, I'm like, wow, this is, am I ever going to get back to where I was at, yeah. do you know what I mean? And it takes, takes strong mental strength, lad, to keep yeah. going, do you know what I mean? And there was times, like, where I was in a bad place, like, 100%, but, um, People don't see the outside of the football world where you've got to move away from home. And yeah. I think I just split up my beard at the time as well. Like, my head was up my ass, do you know what I mean? But but football-wise, it turned out the best the best move ever. That's one thing I was going to ask you, because I think in my sport, lad, it's me. I always say it's like 80% mental. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, lad, fo- that, footy, footy, footy mental is the say. biggest thing in that's footy, That's what I was about lad. to say. It's more mental than physical, lad, isn't it? One of the biggest things, lad, you've got to be so strong in footy to be, to be anywhere near a, a decent level, lad. That's what lad, I always say it with MMA, literally. Like, I always say 80% mental, 20% yeah. physical, because obviously yeah. you've got to have some sort of physical no, yeah, attributes. you've got to have some talent, of but course. Lad, but... You've probably played with players that technically aren't that good, yeah, yeah. but they put that much work in and they're that driven to do it yeah. and they're that mentally strong that the, the quality when it, it comes lad. out And then the, the pitch. opposite way around as well. People with loads of talents, but then just, just mentally not yeah. there or just whatever they have going on off the pitch. You know what like I mean? you hear about that, about a lot of players loads don't you? Know, he could have been the best in the yeah, world. But... Loads, lad. He had it's loads mad. of talent, but then couldn't turn around when he was actually yeah. on the pitch. That's it, lads. Madness. There's, in all walks of life, though, isn't it? There's yeah. loads of stuff like that. Boxing. The it same. is, lad. MMA is right for yeah. it, lad. There's loads of people that people say, oh, in the gym, in the gym. Yeah. And then, like, when the bright lights are on them, yeah. lad, they just can't perform, yeah. lad. It's, it's mad, it's, lad. It's pressure, isn't it? It pressure is. Pressure comes, lad. Proper pressure, lad. And you were playing in front of like 30,000 people and that lad. Know I know, I mean? but it's not, a, it's not an individual sport though, is it? Yeah, you know I know. I mean? At least you've got not... people later to back it up, lad. You're just on your own, just having it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, heavy. <laughs> it's heavy, lad. I've been in the gym and had spars, lad. My adrenaline's going and that, you know what I mean? Before a little spar with one of my mates. 
<laughs> Shitting myself. Yeah, you've got to worry about getting injured, though. You can't be having spars. Like, you can't what? be having spars and then missing six what weeks of games. Like, with me and, I was like, yeah. and they're like, what's happened here? <laughs> and then you just can't play for six weeks. Just be so on, your, on, your, on your case there, well, lad. In the summer, Definitely. me and Jack, Jack O'Connell do loads of it. Well, we did a couple of summers ago when I was in, in, uh, in Liverpool more. Done loads of sparring and... and uh, and boxing training that was that's great for your fitness though yeah. lad, it's like, a different type of fitness it's though, I always say it's like, I can run forever fitness. but like do what a minute round on a pad that's the thing I was going to ask you lad like obviously 90 minutes of running around on the yeah. pitch people say it to me but I know it is hard but I only do it for 15 you know what I mean no, lad, it's completely just, different yours is well harder I know it's a completely well different harder. style of fitness yeah. completely different but lad 90 minutes lad sometimes yeah. 120 well you did play 120 you did yeah. play 120 minutes yeah. a few times last yeah. year no it is heavy but that, that boxing fitness and that it's the different muscle groups and that you're lactic acids heavy no, do you need to try a bit of MMA then lad well not even MMA no, some jiu jitsu no lad no because it's your whole body lad be arsed, that, <laughs> get wrapped up lad you're choked out and that you don't get choked well, out lad you tap before you get <laughs> choked out you're not just gonna go ah, I don't know what I mean. you just get called a muffet though yeah <laughs> No, it's half an hour lad, before you're not a kid. Just go kid. No, because you're not fighting lad, just in the gym. Yeah, I always yeah, say to people, true, lad, yeah. like it's the best form of yeah. self defense. Because if any, I always, and especially people with like little girls, I always tell people yeah. who've got little girls, get them into it. Because yeah. if anyone tries to grab hold of you, lad, yeah. you're just getting spun and come yeah, over or guillotined or slammed yeah. on your head or something. Yeah, that's a shout to be fair. Like to make your kid bullyproof, lad, I always say jujitsu is the way forward. It's a shout, lad. It's a shout. It really is. That's another thing you need to touch on, lad, to just become a dad, haven't I know, you? No, lad, I've just got to get lad. me a little girl in the gym, lad. Yeah, give it definitely. Over, lad. You need to give her a few years, though. Yeah. Hey, Some fella it. touches her, like just arm bar them. Yeah, lad, Funny that's dad. how easy it is, I swear. Yeah. When someone doesn't know what they're doing, yeah. and you do, it's it's mad, lad. Yeah. Like, I can just mess with someone, yeah. me. And just, I've like, just seen that one that you've done with the, the Marines, lad. All them big Marine fellas just tapping them out. Lad, no what? Yeah, that. Like, it was hard because of the endurance side of it. Like, you, mm. you didn't, like, see how long I was actually rolling for, obviously. Yeah. Got, like, cut a bit the video. I think I was rolling with them for about 20 minutes, lad. But, like, I was going non-stop yeah. and had a fresh yeah, person. Yeah, like, you were blowing after Yeah, I had a fresh person yeah. every time. So, lad, I was rolling <laughs> with them for about 20 minutes. Like, the second to last kid who goes, stale, mate, yeah. want to reset? Yeah, yeah. And I go, I just start laughing at him <laughs> and then submit him. Lad, I was sitting on top of him in his guard, just like that, for, like, four minutes, just sitting there, yeah. getting my breath back yeah. while he was, like, doing all sorts yeah. to get out, making himself tired. No, cool. I haven't got a clue about all that, that wrestling side of it, jiu-jitsu stuff like it. Just, just watch it for the fun of it, lad, but I haven't got a clue about the MMA, me. <laughs> what do you know, how do you reckon you do then, lad, if you're in the UFC? <laughs> so bad, lad. So what bad. do you weigh, lad? What weight did you be? What do you weigh? I'm 82 and a half. I'm 82. 82? Yeah. Similar to you, no? Not at the minute. Not, like. No, I mean, like, you could come down, obviously. Yeah, I should be. Uh, I'll be walking around at about 82, like, eight, six That's weeks what I mean. before so my fight. If, say if I, I went into training camp, what do you reckon Maybe, I could get down to? But you've probably already got low low body yeah, fat and lean body mass, lad, where at the minute I've got a big gut on me, lad, know what I mean? You probably lift your top up and got a six-pack, lad, where I've got a little a little fatty yeah. pack, know what so I mean? So do you reckon I could get down to, like... But the only thing, that's the only thing with the UFC and, and MMA in general, lads, the weights. The weights are massive nah, in, in you, the UFC, aren't I was going to say 70 for you. Get me down to 70? Yeah. That'd be like a, a crackhead. Yeah, because you do the weight cut and then you fight like 36 hours later. So you replenish everything back oh, in, yeah? Yeah, that'd be heavy, that though, lad. Like, I don't... 11 kg, like, people, Yeah, that's kg. what I mean. People, like, laugh at me. Because, oh, he's fat. When I go up, it's like 200 pounds. Yeah. Which is, what's that, about, about 92 kg or something? Do you go up that much? Yeah, when, when I'm in America, I eat yeah. shit, lad, yeah. I got to 206 at one point, lad, Did in America. You? I was just looking to scales, like... <laughs> That's like fucking 94, 95 yeah. key, lad. But, like, people think I walk around at 70 key. Mm. I don't, lad. No, of course. Never. It's impossible, really. It's impossible lad. to what it is. It's what are you, six to, foot? No, 5'11". Well, 5'10 and yeah. a half, if we're getting technical yeah. about it and honest. 5'10 and a half. If you walk around 70 kg, you'd be like... I'd be like a skeleton, yeah. lad. Like, people don't understand that. So when I said to people, I weighed in at 156... And when I got on the scales before I left for the venue with my jeans yeah. on, I was 179. Yeah. They were like, I was like, lad, I'd done 11 yeah. pounds in the bath. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That's what you do. You do yeah. you do a water cut. So then if I, if I did do it and got down and then I, I put it all back on, I'd be fucking quite big then, wouldn't I? Exactly. That's why people do it. Like Khabib used to do it. That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Khabib had a bad, few bad weight cuts because of yeah. it. But everyone does it, lad. Literally everyone does it. Oh yeah, like, no, that's a different breed, that MMA. Like, it is. Like, that's, breed. that's for me, that, like, for everyone, that's the battle. Making weight. Yeah. 
Because you the, the weight in the UFC, oh, there's, the well, massive there's lad, yeah. not as many weight classes, sorry, as boxing, is there? Like boxing's there's got too many weight classes, there's though. There's loads, isn't there? Boxing's got too many weight classes. Like, it half annoys me how many weight classes yeah. there's in boxing, lot. There's like three pounds in between yeah. them. In the UFC, there's 125, 135, 145, 155. Then it goes 170, 185, yeah. 205, and then 265, heavyweight. Yeah, so that's well better, isn't it? it is, it's just less confusion with yeah. all stupid belts and that yeah, lad definitely. and with boxing there's too many belts as well yeah there is like, all different organisations exactly all IBO, IBF Mad. WBO, WBA what, it, like, what even is like the most prestigious one is it the WBC it's w, yeah or is it the WBO it's one is it's it? one of them like it's definitely one beginning with a W because yeah. everyone laughs at the IBF yeah, you know what I mean like, everyone laughs yeah, at the IBF do. and the IBO no one cares about <laughs> the pair of them they're not even classed as proper belts are they nah, no, you get laughed at if you've got them but um Obviously, I want to touch on you being in the Prem, lad, because you come through the divisions and then, like, the Prem's just a different spectacle, in it? Yeah. Like, oh, everything yeah. is enhanced, lad. Everything's yeah. zoomed in. Like, you can't have a training session without hundreds of cameras on you. No, and that must yeah. be one for you, because obviously you went from Everton, where, like, it was like that. Then you went to the likes of Oxford and Doncaster and Sheffield, yeah. and they're completely different. Yeah. Like, at first, there was no cameras, and then it's just come back again. Where you've got it, everything on you. Yeah, no, I didn't quite like break into the Evans first team, so I wasn't really like, I had loads of media covering yeah. when I was a kid, do you know what I mean? And it wasn't as big as it is now, all social media and all that. But um, yeah, lad, when you go to the Prem, it's like everywhere you go, you get recognised. And I'd never had that before. I'd only had it in like, say, when I was at Oxford in the local town or yeah. wherever, do you know what I mean? And then you're playing in the Prem, you, you go to London, you get recognised. And then, to be honest, like, the most you get recognised now is playing for Rangers. Yeah. Never been recognised in my life ever before before playing for Rangers like the fan base is unbelievable lad, yeah, I've got lad, sick lad, fans unbelievable lad honestly lad, when I was go, watching go some of your games that lad and lad, you just lad, random I was watching the, up, yeah. the Europa League bits of the Europa League when you were doing it last mm. year lad some of them nights lad watching them I'm just watching that crowd like and like Dom Hughes is sending us videos yeah, yeah. long he's putting videos in the chat yeah. what Dom sent him and we're just like yeah. lad that looks yeah, unbelievable lad, they're, they're joke, you know? like crazy yeah, atmosphere no, you'll have to come to the Liverpool game with Ibrox lad Oh uh, yeah, Defo, De- Defo lad. Defo, Defo. Manager, it'd be sick. I'd, I'd love be to go with that. Sure that. That will be a heavy atmosphere. But yeah, lad, you're in mad gaffs all over the world, and Raiders fans just popping up. Honey, that's not lad. <laughs> right? Sick, Can't go you. anywhere, lad. You know, without these Raiders fans, they get everywhere. The boss, so, oh, lad, the boss. so it's worse than the Prem people getting on you. Yeah? yeah, lad, by far, by far. Sheffield United it wasn't the biggest team in the Prem. Do you know what I mean? So the fan base is obviously just is that after, first season, is limited, though, lad. But, Everyone was loving you, weren't yeah, they? You yeah. know what I mean? I know. Everyone was absolutely loving you that yeah. first season. Yeah, we done well to be fair. Yeah, yeah that first season, lad, it's one of the one of the best promotion side we've ever seen, and yeah, one of the yeah, best promotion side we've ever lad. seen. Did you end up coming like we eighth actually, or ninth or something like we that? Knife in the end, lad. Yeah, it was, but, like, we it was never lost as much credit as other teams are getting. Like everyone talking about Brentford last last season, and that. But they didn't I come as a part after. I can't remember where Brentford finished, lad. But it said they finished like twelve. We finished ninth, lad. We went too far outside the European places, lad. Yeah, we didn't quite really get recognised for that. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's the style of play we played or I don't know. I don't lad, think but... it was a bad style of play though. Lad. People used to watch us, you know yeah. what I mean? We used to watch us when you were on the booze. Yeah. It, it was but, sad. Yeah. It was <laughs> heavy, lad. But um, yeah, lad. We we done Boston and then the year after we just like we had we, we played like just as well in games, lad, but we weren't scoring at the vital vital yeah. moment of the game. And then we went like ten games without to win. And then obviously once you go ten games without to win, lad, your confidence is on the floor. Yeah. The, f- the net you're looking on paper like your next game like you've got like Palace away Everton away Liverpool at home Chelsea away and you're like now where are we going to get a win here beating United that season though didn't you yeah we beat United yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> were crap for years though yeah. coming back a little bit now but... that's like as everyone says it though second season syndrome yeah, don't that's, they? It, that's it, what it just yeah. gets called and because everyone realises you actually had a decent team yeah, they so they don't come, they don't come yeah exactly like, yeah. they don't come to thinking yeah we're going to want to batter these today because because we're crap but they actually think these are actually decent we're going to have to turn up do you know what I mean so. oh, that's what does my head in about the Prem now lad I feel like teams just roll over for City yeah. and then they turn do, up lad. on their A game for they Liverpool do. lad you know what they I mean do. teams just roll over and let City beat them 6-0 when they play us lad it's the it's a proper tight yeah. game because every one of them tries it 100% yeah. that's it lad we, Chris Wilder when, in our first year in the Prem I always remember lad we went to Liverpool away and I think they were beating us 1-0 lad and I thought like we all thought we were doing quite well yeah. but it's the best thing about him lad his winning mentality was unbelievable. Like, he just come in, hammered us, lad. Hammered us. I'm just like, fuck hell. And then the <laughs> second half, obviously, you've got to react, give, yeah. give a reaction for him, do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, his winning mentality was madness, lad. He would, no matter where you was, lad, Man City away, Liverpool away, 
We beat, we drew with Chelsea two 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 away at Stamford Bridge and I beat them three 0 at home, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> mad lad. Like his, his winning mentality was unbelievable. Lad took so much from that. I don't know. He ended up walking as well, didn't he? Yeah, lad. The next all, season he walked, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, lad. There was all madness going on. I think he just wanted. Like to he get, never got sacked. That's what I thought. No, it was mad. Like no, why yeah. has he walked? Because yeah. he's, he's he's been with them for years. Yeah. He just mean? wanted a bit more backing. I think, lad, from from the board and. Um, I just thought I don't, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I just yeah. don't think he got the back and that he thought he, he needed to, to keep the team where we was the year before. Yeah. You've got to progress, lad. You can't stand still. Do you know what I mean? And, um, I know. Didn't I think, think it was it was make, like didn't that. make any signings or something. This is in that summer. I or, can't, I can't even remember. I'm sure exactly he's never. I'm sure because that people yeah. were mentioning it, like no, the pundits already mentioned it and the thing. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you haven't made yeah. the squad any better. Yeah. I think I can remember that. Yeah. But he was unbelievable with me, lad. He gave me my chance in the Prem and that, like so. Um, yeah, no, he's still he was, managing at Prem side now, and he all, he's he's with Borough now. Is he with Borough now? Yeah, well, they get that. Funny yeah. that lad. So I mean, I've got two mates two there. My mate from Borough, they love the Palmos down there, yeah. mate. Need oh, to get that. I've been saying for ages. <laughs> I want to get down and try a Palmo, lad. Yeah. Have you seen them? Ah, uh, you know what, what a Palmo is, lad. It's like a delicacy in Borough. Do you know what it is? It's a delicacy in Borough, lad. They love it in Borough. One of my brother's best mates is from Borough. It's Borre, like a f- piece of fried chicken, big massive piece of fried chicken, then bechamel cheese, another cheese melted on top. And then it can have like pepperonis on or donomies or stuff and lad, they swear by it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's meant to be the sickest thing. And I'm a I'm an horrible greasy bastard. Yeah. I don't like stuff like that. I wouldn't mind. I do. Like that, I'm man. as you can see by the gut. You <laughs> know what I mean? I love me food, lad. I love it. <laughs> like that's sort of what obviously for it's different for me because I have to make weight. You have to stay in shape all year round, lad. We're training all year round, aren't we? Like you between fights, you're not you're, you're in the gym, but you've got no once you've yeah, got a goal, you're yeah. flying with us. We've got a goal all year round, every Saturday, you know? That's what I'm like so now. I'm like, 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 I'm in the gym every day, obviously, yeah. training my ass off. Got a big fucking fat knuckle off someone's heads a day. Oh, you know what I mean? It's just standard. Standard procedure, lad, always hurt and shit. <laughs> it's just normal. But I, I'm I'm like 11 weeks out now, and I'm like, oh, one of the opponents, one of the opponents. Yeah. I haven't got an opponent at the yeah. minute. But so you've got I'm a like, fight date, but just no I've opponent. got a fight date, yeah. but no opponent. So I'm like, ah. Oh. And where's that? Vegas. Sick. It's going to be heavy, lad. It's going to be double heavy. It's going to be a proper scouse takeover of Vegas. <laughs> They're never going to see Have you done Vegas yet? Yeah, but when it, it was, was COVID. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I couldn't even leave my hotel, lad. Yeah. I didn't even see Vegas. Shit, you know what I mean? Lad. Literally. Shit. Couldn't leave my hotel. I had to just sit in the hotel. The after the fight. Be heavy. Yeah, after the fight, we got back and just had to sit by the yeah. pool. Or the all burgers and that. Smart, smart. The after yeah. the party, I'll be sick there, though. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be proper. I'm going to punch someone's head in and then just have a great few days lad, before I come home. It's going to be I shit. Just after I try and have one in like the May or the June so we can go, the footy players can go, lad. Me and Longy and that. Oh, lad, next. Well, next year I'm getting married in May, lad. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Sick. Getting married in May, lad. So I'm some, next year is going to be, I'm only probably going to have two fights next yeah. year, lad. And it'll yeah. be like March yeah. and say November or something like Sick that. that lad, you get married? In, in local life. Local, I mean, yeah. I was going to get married abroad, but... I proposed, it's hard for all your family not lad, to go down and they've got to save up for you. I proposed like right before COVID. I proposed when COVID was coming about yeah. in like Asia and that because in Thailand they were already talking about it when I proposed yeah. it. So we got home, all COVID kicked yeah. in and that. We were planning on like going and looking at places. Yeah. I beat it in Mexico yeah, and places yeah, yeah. like that and then land it was just like we can't even go and look at places. Yeah. So we booked somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's right. better, lad, because everyone, everyone can come. Everyone can come, man. You don't, don't expect it's to easier for everyone. Afraid, it? Yeah, so it's fine. It really is, lad. But yeah, That's we touched lot. on it before. Rangers. What is it like? Obviously, I'm a scout, lad. So, what is it like, Gerard? Wanting to sign you? Mad, mad, <laughs> mad. You know, every agent told me, lad, and then um, I can't remember if he rang or text me. And then just come up on my phone, do you know what I mean? I think my agent gave me his number. So like I knew it was him when he was yeah. Come up on my phone, Stephen Gerrard. I'm just like, heavy this. <laughs> heavy though. Lad, lad, just nervous, lad, do you know what I mean? He's, lad, he was my idol growing up. Lad, he's... Proper. Nine lad. out of ten people in Liverpool, he's the hero, yeah, lad. He's who you idolised growing up as a kid. I idolised him, lad, like heavy. We all did, lad. It was so proper nervous speaking to him. But lad, yeah, he's all day, lad. Proper sand. Just, just normal, lad. Just like yeah. us, do you know what I mean? Just proper normal fella. Um, but like... But I was nervous meeting him, like, you know what I mean? Proper nervous, but that's yeah, sound, sound, lad. You know, most of the couple fell off, though, when he just darted two months later. I know, lad, I said, oh, what's going on here? What's this? <laughs> think, yeah, was, lad, when that happened, I was thinking, what? Lonnie's well, just went there. I know, lad. Lonnie's well, literally just went there, Steve. He probably, he's probably went because you're the yeah. manager. It's <laughs> 40, no, lad. It's 40. I went, when, I, when I went there, 
I, I, to be fair, I said, that's one of the first things I said to him, blah, blah, blah. It's footy, lad. If you're doing well, you're going to get down to the round, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just said to him, it's football. It's what it is, lad. It happens. So, good on him, lad. But then, obviously, Van Bronckhorst came in and he's half a legend in his own right, lad, isn't he? To be honest, lad, it's probably worked out for me because playing for Stephen, lad, I was trying to impress him, lad, yeah. every day. Like, when, you, when you're playing for your idol, lad, I, I idolised him, you know what I mean? You just get nervous, like, walking down a corridor and that, you know what I mean, lad? So, training every day for Stephen, lad, I was trying to impress him, lad. I know sometimes you, you try a bit too hard sometimes, yeah. you know what I mean? Like now, playing for Gio, lad, he's getting the best out of me because I just think I'm, I'm just a bit more comfortable and a bit more relaxed, lad. Whereas playing for Steven is one of the best things I've ever done in my career, lad. You know, I'll always look back on it with, with me fond memories, but it was hard at the time because I was he was only there for like two months. I hadn't quite settled into the role of like playing for him yet, you know what yeah. I mean? And then he left, but I think he would have got the best out of me, but just over a little bit more period of time. Then obviously that that, that league, league, I was going to say that League Cup run then. <laughs> Sausage head, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That Europa League run last year, lad. Just beat some naughty yeah. teams, innit? Lad, you don't, we don't heavy, to be fair. Naughty teams, though, lad. That like Dortmund, Dortmund, Dortmund yeah. Away, Dortmund, yeah. then you just beat Dortmund. Do you know what? On the night, lad, it didn't like, it was weird. We just beat Dortmund and we come into the change room and it hadn't, it, we didn't quite sit, like, set in how big what we've just done, beat Dortmund 4 yeah. 2 away, lad. It was just like, be Dortmund day, eh? mad. Man. I know away because obviously just, everyone just the screamer. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even set in, lad. Mad. But yeah, because obviously back now. everyone expects Rangers to win at home. Yeah. I do anyway, yeah. I because the atmosphere yeah, is that yeah. crazy. But going and beating Dortmund yeah. away, lad, that was a proper oh, statement. Yeah. That's it, lads. Like, but once it's set in, you look back now and think, oh, hell, like we beat Dortmund away, like oh, unbelievable. And beat them at home, like, madness. But as you say, Ibrox, like anyone coming to Ibrox, yeah. we beat them. Like we probably have an upset this in this Champions League campaign now beating someone at home someone big do you know what I mean if you saw they played Napoli at played home played Napoli at home yeah we played well for 60 minutes and then the, the, I was going to say hopefully you just beat them yeah, bastards lad. sending off change the game lad and then they obviously sick of playing them in the group stage yeah, you know lad, lad. I know sick of playing year, lad, them lad yeah. good team this year though oh, lad. I know we always good get team. them lad yeah but it's not, I, just, I want them to go out lad personally yeah. Napoli I hate you <laughs> I want them to go out, lad. I want Ajax and us to go through. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's three big teams, though. Liverpool, well, four big teams, always Liverpool, yeah. Ajax, and Napoli. Is, the Champions League. I said that's better, the group of death, yeah. Liverpool and the group of death again, Man. like last year. That's it. But no one thing that I do remember from that Rangers Dortmund game, what was sick, lad? When, did you see the video when the fans were leaving and the Dortmund fans are shaking the Rangers fans' hands saying, like, congratulations on no, that? Did that, you see no. that? It was on no. like a sport bar or something like that, lad. It was proper sick. Yeah. All our German fellas. Yeah, just like waiting at the bottom I, of the stairs and as the as the Rangers fans are walking down the stairs they're yeah. shaking around the same yeah. fucking well in fair great play, game yeah. and that yeah, fair play. but I think the Germans are boss like that lad when I went to, to Bayern when we beat them 3-1 coming out of the ground lad they were all like doing the same, same thing game. basically like I hope you just go on to win it yeah. shaking our hands and that I hope you just go on to win it yeah. the South fella saying to me walk, when we were on the train oh you're outclassed us tonight I think, yeah. think it's you that are going to go forward and win it and it did it ended up happening lad. that's great. the one thing about being a player lad like can't wait for when my career's over that and do the away days and all that, do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, be sick, that. That's one thing, obviously, you don't get. There's, when we haven't had midweek games in the past, when I was at Sheffield United, I've been to a few of the, the, the Liverpool Champions League games and that, lad, and you don't half miss it, you know, yeah. not being able to go to the game and watching watching your team. But, um, but obviously, playing's obviously better. Yeah, like of course. <laughs> I know what you mean. Some of ways I've had to miss out on when I've got fights coming up and stuff yeah. like that, lad. But I'm glad I went to the League Cup final. I know it was like two weeks before a fight. Yeah. So I had to just take water with me. Oh. My macro chef's grand. There's no point going, lad. My macro chef's grand's grenade bars. Yeah. Ended up eating about four grenade bars that day, lad. <sighs> you know what I mean? Because that's all I had. Like yeah. my macro chef's my grenade yeah. bars and I, I took a little granola pot or two. Yeah. I was just like, this no, has got to no, be done. No Literally, no I ended up winning yeah. two weeks later so it was worth yeah. it. Like, you know what I mean? I've, I've had to go to loads of dudes like that, lad, where I've had like footy or whatever or training and you just got to chill and you're sitting there that miserable. Yeah. Like can't have a bevy or you it's can't like eat I don't, that, I, yeah. it's, the, I, it's worse like with bevy and it's not too bad for me it's food is it yeah yeah like before my last fight my little yeah. one of my, my best mates Jack lad his little lad Joseph it was his first birthday we were sitting in one of our mates brother's restaurants lad and they're all just ordering food and I was just sitting there like <laughs> and then I didn't I'd actually done well I'm normally a bad grazer yeah. lad where I'll just pick at things and I just sat there lad just like that it's like oh would you only do that in like, what, how many weeks camp did you have before a fight? 12? It just depends, lad. If I can, like my last camp, lad, was only about seven, eight weeks, that oh, last yeah. fight, lad. You know what I mean? But you'll only do that in like them, them uh, camp weeks? 
when you're out to camp, you just eat what you want, don't you? Yeah, that was, I was kind of like, and I have to need to swerve it to be honest, like, because yeah. I end up looking like this. You <laughs> know what I mean? I don't even look that bad, but when I do that, I do, lad. Like, I've got a big gust, man. Flying there, lad. It's like, I've got a beer belly, <laughs> but I don't drink beer. It's like a Coca Cola belly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Flying, lad. But I've been back on a diet this week, lad. So hopefully, when back by the time this, this comes out, lad, this podcast, I'll be looking quite skinny, I think. Yeah, I'll, lad, have back little, to it. Back I'll have lost a little bit of weight by then. I'm open. But yeah, in that Europa League, lad, you go to all crazy stadiums. So, what was the maddest place you went to? Because there's like lad, some of the teams, what are in that? Lad, you know where it was mad? Um, the funky Red Star Anthony. Belgrade, lad. The pool mad. played them a few years ago. Lad, they they were not too, there was like, there's like a tunnel there. Yeah, everyone says that tunnel. You walk underneath the tunnel. And they're all banging on it. Yeah, lad, they're the fans and they're all shouting through the thing, lad. And I'm thinking, oh, hell, mate. I'm down. <laughs> like, trying to get you, though. Like, trying to bang the dish. going for a game of footy, lad. Like, having a kick about. <laughs> trying to kick the f- <laughs> steel thing. And you're going like that, Jesus. Some crazy fellas, mate. But that was, that was an heavy one. Um, Their derby's meant to be one of like, the worst derbies in the world, it, isn't it? What is it? Red Star and Partizan, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's meant to be one of the worst up there with like, Glasgow, I mean, yeah, Rangers and yeah, fucking yeah. Celtic. Well, now, lad, they, they only let the Rangers fans, like, an, um, two hours before kick-off, and they don't let them in for, like, two hours after kick-off. Out yeah. till two hours after kick-off now. So they're just, like, trying to just stop everything, do you know what I mean? Mad. Otherwise, there's usually, there's usually murder, like... So, yeah, that, the Red Star Belgrade... Obviously, Dortmund's a nice ground, lad. Isn't Dortmund's it, know what a mean? nice ground, but when we played them, lad, it was like the back end of their COVID. So it was only, um, it was like what one in every, someone and then miss a seat, someone, someone miss, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like it was like only like half, not half the capacity, it was like three quarters, yeah, yeah, yeah. three quarters full. So like we didn't get the full experience of their, their stadium, the but, but it was still boss, like obviously, but yeah, I'm trying to think of us. Not on springs to mind now, lad. Who else, who else did we play? Can't even think now. I remember you just played Frankfurt in the final. And who did you just beat in the semis? I watched the semis, lad. Um, you scored. Red Bull. Leipzig, it Leipzig? Leipzig, Leipzig. Yeah, yeah. See, their stadium's the nice. The, their stadium's sound, but the fans aren't that mad. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're, just like, they're only new, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're only, only a new team, that's it, lad. So they're just like, like quite that. placid. Um, they battered us away to be fair but we, def- we defended quite well. And but obviously. then you just stepped up and put one in the net, lad. So it didn't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just stepped up, bang oh. one in the back of the net, and it was a fucking scream as well. Right, please, I remember right. Dom oh, sending us a video after, after that yeah. game because he was at that game, weren't he? Lad, yeah, the atmosphere after That's that. That's lad. Was after it, the video was yeah. after it. The, everyone's yeah. just bouncing, singing all songs about yeah. you. Yeah, I know. know what I mean? Madness, that song lad. is a belter. I know, funny, know what I mean? Lad. Get sent so many videos <laughs> of it, lad. My mum's in Benidorm right now. She just sent me a name. Um, a video this morning in the in the uh, in the Rangers bar in Benidorm, all fans singing me song in the middle of Benidorm. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Was I was with your sister the other week, weren't I? Oh yeah, we was. Yes. We she was gonna come into Elton John with us, never end up coming because she was yeah. waiting for death. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But we were there, and I was saying, oh, I'm getting John on yeah, the podcast. Yeah. She was going, what? He's not gonna go on that. I was like. <laughs> He said he's going to come on it. I wouldn't go on. I know, on. He's, he's going, he won't go on now. I'm going, he said he's going to come on it. What are you on about? Mad. Yeah, she's a boss <laughs> arcade, like, she's funny. Like, who, you spend the playing Frankfurt in the final, didn't you, as well, that went to Lenz? Like, they were mad fans, like, yeah, the Frankfurt they, fans, you know. Well, they, I've heard all mad stories about them. Like, like the Frankfurt fans were mad to Frankfurt are meant to, like, be owned by, like, the hooligans. Oh, and they get to like the way they had all mad fireworks and yeah, all stuff yeah, like yeah. that when they play West Ham. Yeah. The mentally, you, know, you get fined like 150 grand for that, and they already just have the 150 grand in the pot ready to give the fan or something. Yeah. That's what just someone said to me. Don't do know always, if it's true. No, don't call me. They always set fireworks off on the hotels, yeah. and not like, like five in the morning. Just, oh, it's fireworks, <laughs> are you like your window, lad. Because <laughs> they beat West Ham, yes. didn't they? I thought West Ham yeah. were going to beat them, and yeah. it'd be usual West Ham on the fan. I thought the same. I thought the same. They were actually a decent team, Frank Fair, though, to be fair. Them finals are mad though, lad. No one ever plays great, do they? No, never, lad. Remember the Liverpool-Tottenham final? Yeah, I was at that. That left nervous energy. Same with the Madrid final. Yeah. I was at that one. I mean, the latest one. I'm, it's the same, yeah. lad. That's what Everyone's... it was like. Has just dead nervous, you could tell. Both sets of players were just nervous, lad. And then, um, yeah, it's beat it on pens, but can't wasn't a great that, game like, to watch. I can't it, believe Adam Ramsey missed the though, lad. I know, lad, but it could have been anyone, couldn't it, lad? After could have, I was next. I was number six. I was the sixth pen taker, so it could have been you me. You should have went fifth then. Could have been. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. Aaron Ramsey, man. Slacking, you know. It's all hindsight now, lad, innit? But yeah, it could have been me the next one, so. I just Shit. expected Aaron Ramsey to score, lad, former Arsenal player, and mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? You'd have to call him a oh. sausage for me. <laughs> Slacking there, him. <laughs> have you won it? Did you win any other trophies with Rangers in the first season? Or was that. Well, yeah, we won the just... Scottish Cup, lad, yeah. yeah. We won the Scottish Cup. Um, 
And then obviously got to the got to the Europa League final, so it was a good decent first year. Yeah, like, very to, good to first fair, season. The league up there, like the league's the main one. Like you yeah. get expected to win the league, you know, and so we should be. Do you know what I mean? Um, as the, as the season started, then not too bad, lad. We haven't we haven't like quite clicked unbelievably yet, lad. But we've been we've been signed two points behind Celtic now, so we're still rather in the mixer. Yeah, it's tough. Like the Prem's getting like the Scottish League now, isn't it, lad? Just lad. a two-horse race. I know, just one now, isn't it? City. Basically, I you know. To be fair, Arsenal are flying on. I know, Arsenal are flying. Well, like. They'll fade off. Yeah, they will. They'll f- it's going to be us and City again, yeah, like it always no, is. No, it will, lad, defo. It will. Because we uh, always come on stronger yeah. and they drop off a bit. Yeah. No, it will, defo. But yeah, it's just, you're expected to win the league up there, like, every yeah. single year. Um, for the club like Rangers, lad, you're just expected to win, 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 win. It's the way it should be, lad, isn't it? I know. Well, technically, aren't they the most successful club in British history yeah the most successful yeah they've won more the most trophies. successful club in uh, yeah in British history I think, I think it Britain, is yeah. they won more, it yeah, is yeah. British history because they won more than us and United yeah. like trophies combined yeah, yeah. so it's the illustrious history they're, they're, just to to, lad, they're just used to winning lads yeah. so they just think you just need to just be batting everyone lad which is <laughs> fair enough is there any like obviously apart from Celtic is there any grounds that you go to there what a tough grounds to go to Lad, all the away games are hard. Because when, when Rangers come to town, lad, it's like... It's like when I say Liverpool yeah, comes to lad, town, everyone yeah, wants lad, to just exactly play the away so, game. Like, when, when we go to the away games, like on, on paper, everyone thinks you should just smash these teams yeah. and all that. But you go on away, lad, and you just get 11 men behind the ball and they're just grafting, do you know what I mean? So I know, all the lads start fuming when you just let them down. I know, lad, I know, lad. I know, lad, I know. <laughs> serious. <laughs> everyone messages me. Oh, start saying, lad, Rangers, man. Know, Rangers, they were one to four on. They were one to four on, lad. I only put them in to get the odds up. After oh, that, I'd say lad, to me, see, <laughs> see my inboxes, lad, when, when, when we lose and that, when we get beat all the Everyone giving you hell when we draw, lad, wow. But, um, lad, do you want to see the amount of stick I'm getting on everything for the Haaland Nunes shout? Why, what have you said? I'd have said months ago, just back on Nunes, yeah. obviously, because he's signed for Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I reckon Nunes is going to score more than Haaland this yeah. season. <laughs> and then Haaland scored 10 and 7. Lad, Nun- it- Nunes has got one. Everyone just loves to jump down your throat soon, lad, lad, don't they? Know what I mean? Give him a chance, lad. I know. know what I mean? I hope Harlan gets injured and he just goes on a big six scoring, scoring spree no. and catches up. How did he expect the poor kid to start playing well, lad? And he, everyone everyone's on his back, lad, lad, know. Media, lad. Everyone's giving it to him, lad, leave him alone. Lad. And no matter what anyone says, like any any like negative stuff you get on social media, lad, it does affect you. It 100%, does. 100%, lad. Especially does, in lad. football, it the might be different in, a, in, in an individual Not sport, lad. but like... Anyone t- like sending you messages and all that? If I don't read me, um, me requests request and all that, I don't read. Like, too many of when them, I used man. to have me comments on on me pictures or something, say if I had a bad game one day, lad, and people comment and the ones you see, lad, no, people say it doesn't affect you, lad, the lying. No, it does. It does. I don't it does. comment back no yeah. more because that's where I've had my Instagram yeah. stuck off me, lad, and it's, <laughs> it's costing me too much money, lad. I can't yeah. do it no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Costing me too much money, lad's killing me. So that's why I can't comment back yeah. to people, but I still leave me comments and that on. But lad, you're right. What does my head in is literally I can read through a thousand nice comments and then two knobhead comments he will do me head in lad. and I'll think about yeah. them all day and not the nice lad, comments where someone's being posh and, yes. and being dead nice. That just yeah. that's just not there. It doesn't register. You just think, oh, he said I'm a horrible little divvy lad. or something like that. It can be something so stupid as well. That's it, lad. It's mad. And you, you want to... It's different, lad. It's weird with you. You just get like... Um, say we reply back to someone, lad, and give them hell. Yeah. We'd be in, we'd be get scrutinised for it, but like in your game, it's weird, lad. It's just individual sports, lad. You're just allowed to say what you want, but we can't say nothing, lad. It's people proper terrorising you on social media, lad. You can't even say nothing back. Well, yeah, you just, is that what is the club say? Don't say no, a single not thing. The club, the club, the club don't say don't say nothing but back. It like but like it's league. just like no, no one really. It's not no one really says nothing to you to, to say Do nothing. Back, if you did say something back, though, you get a little slap on the wrist off someone. They probably say like, "What are you doing? What are you lowering yourself to, to stuff like that for?" But it's like. Sometimes it winds you up though, lad, don't he? Like, so, Sometimes you get proper held up. Yeah, lad, I'm, I'm actually glad now that I haven't got Twitter no more. Yeah. My Twitter's been permanently Has disabled, it, yeah? hasn't it? Yeah. The night before me fight, lad. <laughs> the night before me last fight, literally, I was sitting, in, I walked back from the hotel from the scram, we just got at like nine o'clock in the night, walked into the hotel and just went, what? Insta's not weird. I mean, Twitter's not weird. Went back on it an hour later. It's just like, yeah, it's down. Mm. It's and like, what was that for? Just the same comment you no, said? No, because... Song? I had, this is a new Twitter. I've already had a Twitter yeah, disabled. Yeah. And that that Twitter, they say, on Twitter they say, if you get banned once, you're not allowed yeah. back on. And it was the stupidest thing they've ever said, Twitter, you were talking, talking absolute bollocks. Because <laughs> what they said was, we didn't know that this new account was you. Yeah. How when I've been on it for nearly a year yeah. and the UFC have been putting it up, 
Paddy Pimley mm. at, Pad, at the UFC Paddy on Twitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. They tried to say that we didn't know this new account was you, even though I'd had it for like 10 months. I was like, what are you lying for? Mad. But So I, you can't go back on now, ever? Nah, I don't even want to go back on now, though, lad, because it gets me in more trouble yeah. and good. It does wind you up, lad. It gets me in a lot more trouble and good, lad, like yeah. saying things like, I don't know something what's happened with someone and I'll just like laugh at a tweet. Yeah. And like people are like, oh my god, something just happened in his yeah. family. I'm like, how did That's what I mean. how did I know? Social that? Media, lad. It's, mad. What I mean? it's a mad world, lad. It's a, it's a good job world. I didn't have it last week anyway. So I'm just glad. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have it last week. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't I'm glad I haven't got it. I haven't I'm glad that I haven't had it over the last few weeks, lad, because you're doing your game to be fair. I do need it, but I yeah. need Instagram. Yeah, yeah, you do That's need what it. I mean. Twitter. You... The the thing with Twitter, lad, like as you know, you get a lot of hell on it. But I got so many nice messages, lad, yeah. like nice mentions yeah. that I think the people at Twitter have messed up more uh, the fans because I used to respond to everyone yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to try and respond to as many people especially the ones that I knew had been following me for yeah, years yeah, yeah. no one's like because you see it, the same people like popping up like, there's every, a fella from Canada again, lad Steve I hope he watches this lad a fella from Canada called Steve lad backed me since like yeah. 2014 2013 yeah. since I first went pro lad for years and like I always used to speak to him lad yeah. when like it was anniversaries and his birthday and that yeah. And he'd get on me all the time. So, Steve, I hope we see this, lad. I miss you. <laughs> get on me if you can. But, like, I can't people even... need to be more like Steve, lad. Yeah, lad. I can't, I can't get on them. Like, I had people like that. What I'd always message back. Yeah. And people always used to put up, oh, Paddy's boss, because he speaks back to people, not yeah. just the trolls. Because, obviously, lad, when trolls would give it to me, I'd give it yeah. to them. I weren't asked. Like, the first account got sucked because I called someone a fat, ugly... <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was, like, me third warning me or something. Yeah. But, I, like, in America, lad, you can't say the word... You know, can you? lad, if you say what, see, just on, like, lad, if you say see you next Tuesday in any sense over there, it's like, what's it, yeah? You know what I mean? It's crazy, lad. It's like, like every third word, in it? Really? Like, we go, oh, you silly, yeah, like messing just about. See your yeah, just to your mates, you know what I mean? But literally, yeah. over there, if you go, oh, you're soft, yeah. you'll say around in front of you. Weird, that. Lad, mad. it's mad. Proper mad. Would you ever think about going to the MLS? The MLS at the end of my career, lad, probably yeah. If um, if the opportunity came, lad, yeah. Do you, do you watch any of that? I don't. Now, personally, now and, like, now and again, like, if it's on the telly and it's not on else, I'm not, I'll yeah. watch it. Like, lad, I'm not a massive. I don't watch football loads and loads. Me, like, I, I, lad, I'm the same. Liverpool. I only watch Liverpool. Yeah. I'd like some of my mates. I'll sit there and watch Norwich yeah. versus Brentford. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, lad, yeah. Come on. If, if there's not on else, on, I'll have it on in the background. Yeah. But I don't like watch people. I'm not like a big. 14 mad like watch watch I'd watch. only half watch Brentford now because I know I have and Tony you yeah, know yeah, what I mean yeah. otherwise I'd, I only like yeah. look at Brentford because of that yeah. that's about it otherwise I wouldn't wouldn't give a yeah. flying no, I'm the same lad. Like, you I'm pl- you're doing every day Liverpool, you want to go lad. home and chill do you know what I mean you don't want to have just be footy 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 so. I'm the same with MMA lad. people go to me oh do you watch that yeah. the weekend and I'm like nah yeah. do you think I'm sitting up till lad, I was going to say then I don't even yeah. watch that much MMA because it's on spells yeah. all the time I think I'm sitting up till 5 in the morning ruining my sleeping pattern while I'm in fight camp because as you know, lad, your sleep is important. Yeah. Your sleep's proper it's important, lad. one of the biggest, lad. If not the biggest. Yeah, you need it. Yeah. And like, people don't understand that, lad. People get on me, oh, did you watch that UFC last night? I'm like, no. I just mm-hmm. wake up and go on my Instagram and see who won. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't even watch the, Can- the Canelo fight, didn't I? I didn't, but yeah. that's happened years too late. I, I, I haven't watched the highlights. Enough. I haven't did, even watched the highlights. Did, did Canelo actually win or was it a robbery? Apparently he won like yeah. Apparently because the first fight was it. the craziest robbery yeah, I've ever I seen in my life. Triple G won that. And I thought the second fight was a draw. Yeah, I, I fought Triple G edge the second one, but I fought I fought Triple G the first yeah. one, second one a draw, yeah. and then obviously I knew Canelo was going to win that one because Canelo was about fifteen years, ten years younger than him or something. Oh. He's getting on now. Triple I'd G. I want to buy me with McGregor trying to fight each other again, lad. Ah, do you though? I hope not. It's ridiculous. I hope not. <sighs> it's stupid, that. lad. Remember that first one, lad? People actually, actually, people were actually saying that like McGregor was going to win. People were saying to me before it, like I. I like McGregor, lad. Know what I mean? Yeah, he's, of course. He changed the game. Yeah. People don't give him enough respect because yeah. of what's happening with him now. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. Without him, our sport wouldn't be where it is now. Lad. I wouldn't have you sitting on this couch yeah. now, lad. No, 100%. Yeah. Know what I mean? If yeah. it wasn't for him. Definitely. So people need to give him more respect. Yeah. But that was crazy. Yeah. People actually, people said actually thought, thought McGregor was going to win, lad. And I'm just, I'm, I'm lad. going to people, lad, I'm an MMA fighter. Lad, I, I want him to win. Lad, I, I haven't got like, a clue about boxing, lad. And I was just thinking, I was people like, lad, actually... I, I want him to win. You know what I mean? Like, I'm an MMA fighter. Yeah. Of course I want him yeah. to win. But he's not going to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, I think you're mad if you think he's going to. Lad, you're mad if you think he would have. That was just a spectacle, lad. Oh, man. That's the what that was funny to that, though, to be fair. 
And as I said before, I get given a little sheet now with a few questions on, lad. So I'm just seeing if there's any of that or any good. Moving up in the world, but, now, yeah, move, Moving up moving in the, up the world, world, lad. <laughs> Got editors and <laughs> going over things. You <laughs> know what I mean? No, what, before I even look at these, though, we need to do your, uh, your first 11, lad. Best position, like each position that you've played with. Like, it's first 11, whatever formation you want. I just go get quick without trying to jump, delve right into my career. Like, like um, Kane, I mean, Kane, Kate Longy got right into it, lad, yeah. and ended up naming all people like Harry Kane. And we yeah, were like, was like, what, you played with Harry Kane? Harry Kane with Longy when we were for England, yeah. Is that, that when you played for yeah, Rosella? Yeah. Because he was saying it's like the best set of players you've ever seen, and yeah. he had the worst results ever. Oh, lad, we got knocked out the World Cup by um, Iraq, lad. Yeah, that's what he said. Lad, it was mad, you know, probably, <laughs> proper heavy team as well. Said, Barkley, Kane, Ward Prowse, Connor Cody. Lad, heavy team. And just got knocked out like we were not on. But yeah. No, yeah, so pr- probably go Dean Henderson in goal. Um centre backs I go Jack O'Connell. Um I'll just go off ones I can I can think of dead quick off the top of my head. I always say people who say your best player, one of the best players you've ever played, they always say Jose Baxter, lad. Yeah. Do you know, do you know Jose? Yeah, I've heard lad, Jose Baxter. Heaviest player. He was just up the top of the pitch though, weren't he? Jose was number I know, but I'm just trying to think oh, off yeah, the top yeah, of my head. Yeah. Now Jose was number ten, but um Jose. He was meant to, he's one of them, what do you say? Like, he was unbelievable talent. Lad, Jose was unbelievable, lad, honestly. Was he, one yeah? Of, I always say to people who ever ask me the best player, I always say, probably Jose, talent-wise, lad, honestly. Yeah. Heavy. Um, yeah, Ross Barkley, heavy. Harry Kane. Um, who else? Loads of players, lad. I played, played with Raheem Sterling in England. Um, Nathan Redmond's loads, lad. Come on then, lad. We yeah. need an 11. Longy had the proper 11. <sighs> lad, you should have asked me before. Nah, lad, 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 I could have talked properly, lad. I mentioned it at the start. I know, lad. Give, know. Like, get, on, get on him. I gave um, him a little inkling at the start. Nah, and he hasn't been sitting there thinking about it. I go, Dean Henderson in goal. Jack O'Connell centre half. I go, oh, I can't even think of any other centre half. Eric Dyer, other centre half. Longy had him in. I go, right back. I'll give Flano a mention. John Flanagan, right back. Um, left back, I'll go. Left back. Wait, did I need decent left back? Luke Garvey was decent. Luke Garvey was decent. Uh, Flano I'd, that season with Suarez and that though. Lad, lad, he Flano was, Flano that was heavy. He was heavy, lad. Flano was heavy when we were younger, lad. Um, I'll go Jose, Ross Barkley, um, Harry Kane. Probably missing loads of players, lad. I can't really think, but... <laughs> Uh, I go Sterling, Raheem Redmond. Sterling and I go Nathan Redmond yeah. you're missing one out of the middle there though why saying that that's you innit I wouldn't get in that either <laughs> <laughs> that's shite, you lad. Lad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm shite lad. Lad. you want to see me kick a footy <laughs> I'm shite lad. Um, any other I can't shows? go from like five yards on a, on Cardlene and Astros. Do you not get involved with the five yards at the yeah. lads, no? When the, we don't, it's not five, lad, it's hilarious, Sick lad. We lad, play I on the tennis, the, the tennis side pitch yeah. on Cardlene. Like last year, we had, like I had to stop playing like six weeks before me, because it was my debut last year, when I made the USC debut. We were playing in the summer and I had to stop playing with them in like the July, because obviously yeah. I couldn't risk, as you know, lad, you get little knocks playing yeah, footy, yeah, lad. Like even I can't kick the ball properly sometimes, yeah. lad. I can remember one <laughs> lad I'm not messing. I can remember when like COVID we just went out and had a game of footy and lad, I can remember trying to kick the ball and I didn't hit it with that part of my foot. I hit it with that part and my whole foot just went boom yeah, lad, and bent backwards. And lad, I was like that. Oh my god, when I kick the ball, what's going on here? Lad, I've done not loads of times with my knee, lad, where you Yeah, and it's so, that's what I done it. Put your me foot knee. out and then you whack your knee and you just go, oh. it, like it, it bent me foot back and it ate up here. Yeah. I had to go and go for a bit, lad. <laughs> Swear, <laughs> heavy. God. And I just had hand surgery, so I'm like, yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm a block shit with yeah. it. I'm going, lad, I can't use my hands. But yeah, yeah we have belt of games, lad, tennis hard. Yeah. Like long, long we always, I always play in the summer with the lads, lad. Long each comes long and plays year. with goals and goal because yeah. obviously he can't risk getting injured, so he doesn't even play. He's he sta- on a goal team, lad. I know, but when people, when some people are He'll yeah, come and play. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? But most of the time he does just stay in goal. He's a good little keeper, to be fair. Hungry, fucking hell. He actually he's is. He's hungry loads of times, lad, on the Astros. Yeah, he probably feels more, these are pros as well. I won't get volume oh, in this year. Oh, he's probably volume. Yeah, that's why, I mean. lad. Yeah. Nah, like, wouldn't it's volume, nice, lad. Nice, easy, Ozzy, when we play, lad. No one goes near each other. I wouldn't volume, him, lad. I know he's got to pick his wages up. You <laughs> know what I mean? I, I'm like, I'm the same, lad. I, I know that I can't. No, like, I, you go, we go into most fights injured, though. Yeah. That's something I did one last year. Obviously, because personally, lad, most of my fights I go into, like I went into my last fight with a, a bad ankle and a bad knuckle. Like, do you, do you 
do you play? Because like, you're there footy players years ago doing it, but obviously yeah, now lad. all the medical advancements they have don't let you play, but no, obviously lad, yeah. you play through some injuries. Oh, lad, I can't remember the last game I played where I was not, didn't have no Didn't niggle. have a knock. Yeah, lad, loads. But like, you see loads of players, lad, who like just injured constantly, constantly, constantly. I just think it's most of it's mental, lad. If you can deal with pain, lad, you're, you're fine. Even though I love him, lad, and he was quality when he was at us, Sturridge is one of them, Sturridge, isn't he, lad? yeah, Sturridge, yeah. I've just been playing with an ankle injury now, lad, for like the last three weeks. Just got it scanned on, got it scanned on Monday after the last game we had. And just got like a little tear in some skin thing like yeah. in there. I didn't know there's a scientific word for it, but yeah. got a, a little lacerations. They say like <laughs> it's structurally sound and you're not gonna do any further damage. You can crack on, just crack on, lad. But yeah, I can't remember the last time I played without any any type of niggle, like. Like that's the one thing that does my head in with footy players, lad, and I've mentioned it on the podcast plenty of times, I think I sent it along. In my sport, lad, I hide when I'm hurt. I have yeah. to hide the yeah, fact yeah, I'm hurt. Yeah. Lad, when I see footy players I rolling know. around on the floor, lad, I know, just feel lad. like jumping through I me know. telly and punching someone in lad, the face. Can you can imagine when they're doing it when you're playing against I know, them, lad. Like, I don't know about you, lad, I'd be standing oh. over them, get up now, you lad. little mushroom, Honestly, get up. Especially when you're getting beat, lad, or someone, and someone's rolling around, lad, you're just like, oh my God. That's why I was made up. We got that late goal against Newcastle yeah. the other week, because they just kept they rolling around on the yeah. floor, lad, yeah. and wasted your time. Bruno Fernandes, lad. Yeah. Bruno Fernandes does it. Just rolls around. All the time, lad. Non-stop. You don't even touch him, lad. He just throws himself on the floor. Well, lad, that's I made up. It's I mad. answered that question when I was on that match of the match of the day with Jermaine Genius, lad. He said if you could fight one, yeah. one Premier League player, you Bruno said Fernandes, Bruno Fernandez. So, I'd probably be the same to be. Yeah, there. I said right away, Bruno Fernandez. Yeah. He just needs Fernandez, man. Needs to get off the floor. No. Needs probably to actually a nice seller as well. I know lad, he probably just is, on lad. the pitch, lad. People do change. There's loads of players like that, lad. I always look back and think, lad, how did how did Rooney and Ronaldo end up being mates again, lad? No, it's no way he got him sent off that time and the wink yeah, and all that lad it's yeah, seedy yeah. gear all that lad horrible lad but he spoke about that on camera yeah he, he spoke about said, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't be a, yeah. I would have been wanting to punch his head in the changes me to be I fair know, lad, that, that was bad that like but people are just different aren't they yeah, as I say though lad that jumping round on the floor just it proper burns my cap out lad I know lad same it's mad I don't know it doesn't even go through my mind lad. like if someone tackles me and they get the ball I don't even, it doesn't, would never enter my mind. Yeah, to just roll up, yeah. Like, oh, let's get it for the kids. It just doesn't, yeah. It's like, it's, I, I find it I don't know what I think it is, because by ours, more. we'd get skittered for it. Yeah, that's what I mean, growing up, yeah. lad, we'd get cane for doing yeah. that. Yeah, oh, what are you my, doing, if I, if I'd done that, lad, my, I'd go home after the yeah, second game, I'd go, like, oh, what are you doing, lad? Yeah. From rolling around like that, <laughs> little fat. <laughs> He would, do you know what I mean? Whereas it's just different, different cultures, lad, isn't it? Man, you know it'd be mean? exactly the same. You know, Man, be like, what was you imagine, doing there? You know, when you were a kid rolling around on a pitch, I'd be going, what? You'd probably feel ashamed, lad. He's their fault. So oh. the opposite end of that. Have you had many red cards? Um, I think I've had like three. Well, I had red card when I was at Oxford, lad. I got one the week before the JPT trophy final, lad. Devastated. And couldn't play? Couldn't play, lad. Oh, lad, I was dev old, lad. Oh, lad. In a league game, got a free match ban and then couldn't play the JPT, JPT final, lad. I was wounded. That's like the... The Johnson's paint yeah, trophy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. lad, the play footy manager. I know, but people watching won't know. Yeah. You never any fans don't know. Yeah, you're right there. The, yank, <laughs> the Yanks won't really know what that is. Yeah. It's a little little trophy for the lower divisions. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're right there. They won't. I made up. He's just said that. He's on. See how, how but, good he's on it. Hey, <laughs> but um, lad, I was devil, you know, proper devil. And the ref that sent me off, lad, does the prem now. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't forgiven, lad. <laughs> I haven't, you know. But um, and then I got sent off for Sheffield United in the prem. That was just before, that was just before Christmas. I had Christmas off for the first time. I'm like, fucking, don't know how long, so it actually worked out quite yeah. well. <laughs> Who was that against? Did you get sent off on the Brighton, prem? Brighton away, lad. Brighton? Yeah. Probably Should was. you have or yeah, was that it? One, that one was, but I didn't think the JPT one was. Because nowadays, yeah. lad, people get red carded yeah. for... No. I got sent off like two weeks ago, didn't I? Did you see that one? No. The second yellow? No. I got sent off in the, uh, the Scottish Prem, lad, like two weeks ago for the second yellow. Now where someone's like getting away from you. Yeah. And you like clip the back of the leg. Yeah. So I've just clipped but the back of the leg. But they have run into you. No, so he's just getting away. It's in his, it's in his own half. He's like, nick the ball off me. He's getting away. So I've just clipped the back of his leg to like yeah. stop him go. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like stop a, the break just away. like a cynical foul. Yeah, yeah. Lad, the ref give me a straight red. Straight red? Yeah. Man, and there was straight, other players covering straight, yeah, lad, exactly. Yeah, that's but mad. It, it got rescinded, like, and it just got downgraded to a yellow. But obviously, they, but left, obviously they left, left me the game. Yeah, yeah, lad, we drew. There you go. Yeah, it's affected. Lad, I hate lad, stuff stress, like that. Stress, you know. Lad. So obviously, just like what? But they rescinded it, like, but still affected. No bad notes, but it, yeah, know, it's but affected. Still, like, that's why I always look back, lad. I hate the Prem, lad. I hate this VAR. Yeah. I just look back at last season and think, like, that two old draw with Tottenham away when Kane should have got sent off and Robbo shouldn't have. 
no lad, the one against the, the, city, the Man Everton City Everton one, Everton yeah, one the was the worst decision I've ever seen in my life. Leave. That one, if Everton would have scored that pen there, yeah. and Drew, we would have won yeah. the league. That's the worst decision I've ever seen. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to look like a mad, crazy conspiracy theorist here, but I don't care. Like People laugh at me as it is. When it's Everton fans laugh at me when I say it, <laughs> lad, it wouldn't surprise me if it comes out in a few years that City are doing a Juve, lad. <laughs> What's that? What Juve done years ago and paying the well, refs. Paid, paid the refs. And was winning Skedetto's because of it. Because pra- some of the decisions they get, lad, me. are just baffling. <laughs> like that Rodri one. That it, one was bad. Like that, that was terrible. Lad, there's been one, there's, they've already had one or two this season. The one where the keeper threw the ball threw the ball out and Palace took the ball and he scored and it would have been, or was it Palace? It would have been 3 0. Yeah, lad. It would have yeah. been 3 0 before yeah. half time and the ref blew the whistle yeah. before it went in so yeah, it couldn't lad. go to VAR. That happened with them last year against Dortmund as well. Bellingham scored and he blew the whistle before it went over the line so that they couldn't fucking, so that it couldn't oh, count. Lad, don't get me started on them, lad. And on, I haven't even got Twitter no more, but I, st- I can still open the app. Yeah, so yeah. I still go on Twitter and just I see. I've only got a little, like, snide one on Twitter that yeah. I can just keep up to date with the news. Lad, and I just, like, I, when I go on my Twitter, it one. says at the top, <laughs> your account is permanently disabled yeah. so I just like click home and lad it's because st- all I ever used to do and it was like MMA stuff and footy yeah, yeah. that's all what comes that's up on it just the news and, like, yeah just, all just that and lad I always see City fans talking about Liverpool and I just, I, I'm dying to comment <laughs> and just give people hell lad I am lad yeah lad they'll never be as big as us lad no never the, that European Cup's never coming no. I mean I know a few City fans as well so Scott if you're watching this that European Cup's never coming home lad <laughs> Never go into money. <laughs> my agent's a man and Longy's agent's a city fan, lad. Is he? Yeah, lad. Lad, the fourth them. official on that VAR, lad, when it was on ball as a city fan, was lad. Was he? Yeah. That's dodgy. The VAR man. official was it? Shouldn't be able to affiliate. His family is a season ticket holders for city. Yeah. Lad, you shouldn't be able to affiliate. No, you shouldn't. It's mad, lad. Games, lad it's they like get that. away with it, lad, don't they? It's a joke. Mad. So, what does the future hold then, lad? Obviously, playing for Rangers. Yeah, lad, just hopefully stay at Rangers for as long as possible, lad. Just spend the next... I'd love to win my career there, to be honest, lad. Feel um, at home. Yeah, lad, definitely. Feel at home. Love living up there. Obviously, I had my little baby, now my little baby, Scottish, you know what I mean? Lad, yeah. little, um, she was born up there, lad, so... No, feel feel part of it, lad, and hopefully we can just try and get some points on the, bo- on the board in the Champions League and, and go from there. The only thing that had put me off about Scotland's the weather, lad. Yeah, it's wet, like... Wet, lad, Spicy and cold. sauce, that weather there, yeah. lad. You know what, lad? It's not the coldest place in the world. It's just wet constantly, lad. Is it? Yeah. Just See, really I, I would have thought it would have been cold, me. Don't know why. Don't get me wrong, lad. It's freezing. <laughs> yeah. like, you'd expect it to be worse. <laughs> yeah. But, lad, it's wet all the time, lad. Just raining, pissing down constantly. See, that's the boss thing about, like, San Diego and that, lad. Yeah. Like, the weather there is yeah. ridiculous. Would you move out there? I'd have already, like, had a little think about it, lad, but I don't think I could ever leave Liverpool. Yeah. I know. It sounds mad, lad. But I'm the same, lad. I don't think I could ever like leave Liverpool yeah. fully. I'm the same. We mate, we mate, come up this morning to see him. He lives down south in Bournemouth, lad. He's in the Marines. Yeah. And uh, you might know him, Jeff Thomas. He went to your school. He's like Mikey. four years older. But um, he's down south in the Marines. I was talking to him this morning. He just told me he's, he's pregnant with his bird, lad. And he's saying like he he's thinking about staying down there forever. And I said, but lad, what about coming home, lad? Your family and your mates and all that, yeah. Lad, the one. And he was saying, lad, wouldn't you move away, lad? Well, better weather down south. And I said, lad, all my family and my mates and all that. Like, yeah. Why would I ever? I couldn't move that's, away from Liverpool, me, lad, ever. That's the exact reason I can't. I couldn't just pick up and leave yeah. to San Diego, lad. My yeah. family. I've that's got nieces I mean. and nephews. That's what and I mean, lad. My mum and dad and yeah. stuff like that. Know what I mean? Where all, I'm home, like all the chances I can get. Me, yeah. Like, my missus is obviously from down the corner from where I'm from. So she's. So you mad? My bed grew up like six doors down. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. So you knew from you were a proper nipper. Yeah, but we weren't together for that long. She hated me when we were <laughs> kids. That hated me. <clears throat> I used a little bastard that was just run up and down the road from stones at windows and water balloons at beds and all that. You know what I mean? I was that little bastard. So she hated we all me till. Was that so? Yeah. We were, <laughs> she, oh, she, we were the same. Lad, <laughs> she hated me till I was about sixteen, yeah. lad, and I started speaking to her. You know what I mean? And then she stayed. I'm fucking. We're getting married next year, lad. Mad, Madness, lad, mad. But, uh, lad, yeah, move on to the Ash Paddy segments. I've got a few decent questions Go ahead, here, lad. lad. We got any for him, lad? <laughs> we, yeah. I should, have I should have thought of a couple, lad. You should have, but here's one. Should have told me they were doing this, lad, I would have said. <laughs> oh, they got, they got me mad and all that, all my mates and that. Like, and Asking that. all the questions. <laughs> um, here's one for you. Is there a coach or a mentor that sticks out in your career? And that I've just thought of that on there because of fucking, um, they said about Sheffield United manager before. Yeah, Chris Wilder, lad, defo. Gave me my chance in the Premier League, yeah. and that. he was massive. And his his win winner mentality was I've never seen anything like it, lad. Crazy, and I've took that on with me, lad. Yeah, massive. So I look back that sometimes now, and I used to think, wow, he he's been harsh on us there and harsh on me individually as well. But then I look back now, 
and realised why he was doing it. Do you yeah. know what I mean, lad? It was ridiculous. Like, just demand, demand, demand constantly. Um, and then Michael Appleton, lad, yeah, from Oxford, was probably was probably the other one. Um, it was massive. And then Gio, Gio now getting me to getting me and the lads for Europa League finals. Obviously, one I look back on when I'm older and think, oh, no. Yeah, that was, special. That was incredible, that, yeah. Yeah, then. James Shepard asks, as a Rangers fan who loves John, I'd love to know how the players deal with the mental aspect of the fan reaction because at this club, one minute we love we love the next. It's all criticism. I'd like to know. <laughs> I'd like to know how it affects them as a whole, the players, or just John on a personal level. It's a good question, man. No, it is, lad. And it's not really spoke about much, lad, really. Yeah, like, no, how not. it really affects people. No, nah, it, it does affect you, lad, when, when people are speaking negatively about you. It does, lad, 100%. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who you are. It does affect you. I'll um, back that 100%. As much, as much as, like... You don't look and you don't listen. You do get things like, I don't know, you know, your mate will send you yeah. something funny. Like, what they think's funny. Do you know what I mean? Say if you play crap and someone will oh, and hell, XX was, was shite. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Your mate will send you it. And it's funny. Don't get me wrong, it's funny. But then you just think, go to the like, yeah. you know what I mean? But um, because Rangers is such a big club, lad, and the fan base is huge, it's it can be a, a daunting pressure on people, lad. I'm, I've 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 learned to grow into it now. Like when I first came, lad, I was I was set back by how big it was the yeah. fan base, but I think I've grew into it now. Whereas at the start, I was a bit taken aback and like the pressure was probably a bit a bit much for me. Whereas now, settled in like I'm not a new player anymore. I've got to know all the lads, um, and now I'm settled now. But I think it can take like if you're a weak individual, the fan base and when they do turn against you, they can they can take some people under. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, Good players can come to Rangers and not play as well as what they what they think they can because the fan base is so demanding. Um, but that's also what win, what wins us games as well, lad. When yeah, they're just definitely. like you're seeing the the lights, like the atmosphere the is game, just lad. the atmosphere is crazy. You know what I mean? Um, you watch that and think, I want to go to one of them yeah, games and see what that's like that's in it, person. Lad. So, lad. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And that's as someone who's not not a Rangers yeah. fan. Know what I mean? Yeah. That's someone, I'm just looking from the outside. Yeah. Like, wow, that's yeah. unbelievable. But when when you go up there, lad, you've got to learn quick that you've got to win. And that's, as that, you say there, though, the way like you said, you just step, you can step. I think that's a proper scouse thing, you know, the way we can just step yeah. up to the plate. That's I, what I, mean, I do. Lad. It's I, mad, lad. We just got something inside as well. We just that's yeah. it, lad. And no matter how much criticism you get, whatever, it's not about like. All right, it might affect people, but it's about just stepping forward and going, yeah. let's have it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what it is. is. I thought you were saying before, the Chef United fans, had uh, this, the Theeks asks, what was your time at Chef United like? Because those fans noticed your rise in the sense of you couldn't seem to break into the squad as a starter, but as soon as the Premier League arrived, you were there week in, week out. Very interesting and curious as a Blades fan to see your thoughts, what your thoughts are. Yeah, no, loved it. Loved, loved it at Sheffield. Um, just, just again, the manager, this wild lad, just putting his faith in me. As I say, the, the championship season that the lads went up, I didn't play that much because um, they were just flying, lad. Do yeah. you know what I mean? They were absolutely flying, just winning every week. So I couldn't get in the team and um, played like the last 10 games or so. But the manager said to me, with like 10 games to go, listen, you're playing next year. Um, I think he just seen that my style of play fitted the Premier League. Yeah. Like, I can, I'm a good runner. So it suited me down to the ground. And I think that's when you're seeing the best of me in a, in a Sheffield United shirt. Yeah, just when. My my attributes suited the prem in a way in a way so yeah nice nice <laughs> now nah, I thought that would be a nice question to ask you though because you said most some Sheffield United fans have gone off yeah know what I mean so yeah because the, the situation when I, when I left obviously I wanted to go and either stay in the Premier League or go and play Champions League football that was yeah. the aim and obviously Sheffield United fans seeing it as when you when you leave a club obviously people are upset yeah. you know what I mean and and I was I played well for Sheffield in the last couple of years that I was there people say. At the end of my contract, when I was leaving, I, I stopped trying and all that, which yeah. is obviously absolute bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> like, Never going to stop trying like, ah, you know, no matter what, when you step foot on that pitch, like, lad. lad. You could even go and play five side with your mates, lad. Yeah. I want to win that, yeah. do you know what I mean? I'm proper competitive, so, me, lad. I so hate losing people, anything. People obviously say that because results, results, if you lose a game, people are just there to just jump on your back. Yeah. But absolute bollocks, people saying I didn't try, lad. I ask anyone who knows me closely or Chris Wilder, the manager, they'll, they'll speak for me, lad even in saying I'm at percent every single day um, so yeah just just that aspect of it people thought I weren't saying but it's easy to say that when yeah. you're losing games which which just wasn't the case it's easy to say that from the outside though people have, said, people have said to me in the past lad when lad, you're saying your ass off lad you don't you don't yeah. know what's going to happen when you get in the cage just like you don't know what's going to happen when you get on the pitch anything can happen no lad. exactly lad yeah. they so, can score in the first five minutes and put 11 men behind the ball yeah. and it's just like wow, what are we yeah, meant to do that's yeah? it lad and you just you don't get that lucky break yeah, that's it and then the stat, all my stats I'm like run the most every week and that and then people say you don't even work hard lad it's just like neat <laughs> 
What are you on about? <laughs> you know, that's that's and, football, lad. And people are there to jump on down your throat at every occasion. Jeff United like, fans got to understand as well. Gerard was managing Rangers. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. just like he was going to Rangers and they were playing, and he was playing Champions League football, football and that. Lad, he was going to play for Gerard. It's just different. And it was, lad. That was um, that was massive for me, lad. The chance to play for Stephen yeah. and to play European football. I, I, done my dream of playing in the Prem and my next dream was to play in Champions League and Stephen was saying like we're building a team to play in the Champions League do you know what I mean Yeah. when I got there we didn't quite qualify Malmo beat us lad and we, can't, we should have beat them lad. Yeah. We, we played but um, now lad I've fulfilled my dream of playing in the Premier League and the Champions League so it was the, the best one of the and best decisions, a, this, decisions I've made so. you've had a little bonus of the Europa League final as well in there yeah lad Europa <laughs> League final imagine this, any, any, any player it would have got put down on paper in front of them with the chance to leave Sheffield United, they said you're playing the Europa League final and you're playing the Champions League yeah. and you'll win a Scottish Cup in your first season. You're biting their hands off, you're biting their hand off, lad. So, at the end, especially when they've just went back down to the Championship. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sounds harsh to say, but no, that's... no, that's it, lad. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my time at Sheffield and the city's boss and the, the fans were great with me. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, there's a certain few that give me a bit yeah. of stick towards the end. And obviously, I'm with you. They're the ones what stick out. You don't that's think about it. Th- this is what I mean, lad. Yeah. It's it's, it's sh- it's, really, it's honourable because you think it's our fault or their fault yeah because we should mean? be thinking oh we should think about the positive ones but lad as I said before let's see you can have a thousand nice comments one or two bad ones that's will it. stick in your head over that's the nice it, lad, ones 100% and the way you were saying before about that, that fella Steve who commented all, yeah, over yeah. the years I had that loads of times over the years Sheffield United fan there was like 10 of them who you'd see all the time with like nice comments you yeah. know what I mean and you're like oh yeah he's right Belter. nice one Julie from, yeah. from <laughs> Sheffield you know what I mean like she was <laughs> boss lad but as I say, the ones that wind you up are the ones that criticise you unfairly. Yeah. Yeah, our next one from X Tusk. Mad name, lad. <laughs> As many athletes have pre game slash pre fight rituals, watch John's. Not on me, lad. I'm, I'm, not, I'm the same, I'm lad. People say that to me. I, I always say to people who are superstitious, messing around in footy, lad, I say, lad, you're too talented, lad. Too talented to be superstitious, lad. You're not asked for. Oh, I'm mad tying one lace before the other and all like, yeah. <laughs> certain pair of boxies like I get like you want to be comfortable in the same pair of bills every week but yeah. like wearing like the same colour and all that like, the one I always noticed lad Nadal when he plays tennis you see, he just he, he does the same thing and that the same thing with his t-shirt mad same, puts his shoes yeah. there puts his rack mad. lad it's mad. sick OCD that like that, yeah, that, that's OCD. like OCD that type yeah, of that's proper that. crazy OCD lad but I always say to me too talented to be asked about a shite like that <sighs> it's a good one because you've already said a lot about it the armor asks, what's John's impression of Glasgow was a place and the people there? Nutters, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute nutters. A lot of them. But now nah, the boss down. The boss, the boss. Um, there's a little boozer. I got my mate owns a boozer up there, lad. And I slope in there now and again when I can. Like a little, like by where from where from, lad. Like a little snide boozer. It's horrible, lad. But it's a belter. And when I go yeah. there, lad, some of the characters, honestly, it's a bit of belter. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Probably like going into a boozer in Park Road the or crafters. right in somewhere or something. The yeah, like the crafters or something. Or have all people headlock on your own. <laughs> yeah, there's another Rangers question. Sydney Baptist asks, how much of John settling in and inform us down to manager Giovanni Van Bronckhorst? And the new management team. Yeah, lad. I think I think it was probably both, like settling in just because time goes by. If Stephen yeah. would have been there for a bit longer, I probably would have settled in just in the same amount of time frame. But um, but again, lad, Gio playing me where he played me. Sometimes he played me at the back, helped me as well, and just yeah. just fitted his style of play, lad. And thankfully, I performed as well when he gave me the chance. Nice. That's the main thing, and you know, lad, stepping up to the That's plate. That's it, lad. When you just you got to, lad. Yeah. Has there ever been? This is a, yeah from test. <laughs> From these are all for me, lad. These yeah, no, nah, these are all for you, lad. I thought these were for nah, you. It's just the Ash Paddy segment, so <laughs> oh, it. it's for the guests, you know what yeah, I mean? I get, yeah. Look at him thinking we're going to get some oh, questions no, lad, for I'm me. I'm sweating here. Yeah. There's a note, there's, this last question I'm going to ask after this one is like for both of us. But yeah, this one from Testy Satchel. <laughs> has there ever been a time where John has had to lose something important to him over his commitment to the sport? Not, not that I can think of. I don't know what he, what, what he means. By I personally that, think he means like if you've lost like a bed or something, yeah. or like a. No, nah, not a, really. I can't think of anything else. Like if you've had to get like with a mate a, or something. Yeah, no, I'm thinking. The only thing I can think of is you have to like leg one of your mates because he's been dragging yeah. you down, or like leg your bed because he's. No, lad, I've been no. dead lucky with me mates. I don't my mates. Are sad, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the, the same, lad. I've had day one like mates where I've been mated since I was like, this big I'm lad. The same, and, lad. Like if, all my mates, like all of anyone see me doing anything out of line lad, they'd be slapping me not trying same to make me lad. do something out of line do you know what I mean they'd be like what are you doing you my mates are the same lad 
and that's how you realise who the real yeah, mates exactly. are. Yeah, exactly. So I'd be getting a slap. Never mind. Yeah. Like, <laughs> never mind. Someone offering me something. Look, I, I mean? always say to my mates, lad, if you ever hear me say to anyone in my life, do you know who I am? Because oh, that's that, that's one of my pet that. hates, lad. Imagine. No, when people say to people, do you know who I am? Lad, I feel like hitting them myself. Lad, imagine so I've, I've said to the so Longy Sam Jack all I'm said yeah. in the chat, lad. If I ever, you ever, ever, <laughs> ever, 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 ever hear me say, do you know who I am to anyone? I give you permission to oh, slap me as hard imagine. as you can across the face. Cause I'm not even high profile enough to even say that anyway. <laughs> I just all, like, <laughs> you know, div. like some people shout that and I just stand there and I'm just like, oh my god, you're no, a sausage. I don't, know. I don't but, think we're away from that. We never, never exactly like that, just not like that. But yeah, last one. V- VL now, no spaces or nothing. So VL now, I don't know, whatever you want me to say it. Start putting your real names, people. <laughs> Like, who's, what's Testy Satchel? <laughs> Start putting your proper names. I need to read real names. To be fair, lad, I'm guilty of that. I've got a little snide to it. I've got a little snide. Just to keep up to date with all the yeah, shit that's going that's on. It, well, now I'm as disabled. Yeah. I just keep up to date yeah. with it to say, lad, I, let it, I like her tweet, not thinking. It just doesn't even like and it. Like just it just doesn't even like it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, last question. My question is, as top athletes, what plans and preparations are you both making financially and professionally for when you both eventually get too old to compete at the top level in sport? Good question. Yeah, just all the usual stuff. Property stuff and all that, and just the stocks yeah. and shares, right, yeah. Property's the way, like, I know what you mean. Yeah, I have, my manager, lad, I just... Just leave it all to him, yeah. yeah. I'm the same, lad. I've got I've got a little fan I should advise myself yeah. who just does stuff for me, but um, just property, yeah. Just it's what we've I've, got to do, though, isn't it, lad? Because, yeah. as you know, we can't... Lad, how short our careers, yeah. Can't, can't play for us, you can't yeah. fight for the, your whole life, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so just little bits, little bits of property here and there, and then the little stocks and shares stuff that, that some company does for you. Yeah. It's just one of them. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that everyone knows I've got me me content. So get like, comment, and subscribing. You know what I mean? <laughs> get the algorithm going. Get doing it now. <laughs> That's how I'm starting to hear me down with that and all of the little things. Flying, but, uh, lad. Flying. Lad. Thank you for coming on. That's all the questions I had no, there. Do you, have you got any questions for me, John? Do you want to ask Lad, me anything? I said this before. Should I let me know that we got this Ash Paddy thing and I would have called someone away? Do you want to ask me a question? <laughs> Your little nieces and that would have been buzzing asking you something. <laughs> Bells are that. Not off the top of me, lad. No, You'll have to text you later asking what questions you want to ask me. In fact, you know what, lad, on your next one, I'll tweet in. Yeah. That's what I'll do. They're on YouTube. Comment on the YouTube question. But, um... Yeah, just for tell everyone where to find you, your social medias, uh, any anything you want to give a shout out to, you know what I mean, anything like that? Lad, I'm not really big on social media, just John Lonnie 7 on Instagram, but I hardly use it, to be honest. I'm not really, I'm not big on it, lad, I'm not, I'm not really into it, lad, but if you want to follow me, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never, I always remember that post you put on the chat, so you like Tony, lad. Oh, lad, how lad. funny is that? How funny is he? Hilarious, lad. Yeah. Lad, I've ne- lad, know hilarious. what? Maz and that know him, lad. I've never, like, met him in person properly, but obviously I've been told oh, major lad. stories. I've only met him a couple of times, but he's hilarious, lad. Oh, <laughs> funny. Uh, when, we, when we was in school, one of our mates, lad, always used to do his voice, nothing. Definitely. And, like, I, none of us knew who he was back then, yeah. but in, like, year 8, 9, 10, one of our mates, lad, used to always just do his voice, lad. lad. That video, lad, is one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my whole life, lad. <laughs> lad, a few people have sent to me, I should try and get, done, uh, try and get lad, him on. That would be hilarious. Should I get Tony on? Definitely, lad. Might be the best for the American audience, but for the U- everyone from the UK, yeah. no, he is. No, he is. So for like, get the old and feel what's yeah, the old and feel. I'll have to get him on in the future. We'll sort yeah, that. Yeah. But lad, thank you very much for no, coming on. Lad. Appreciate it. Lad. it. Lad. Nice one for having me. Once again, people, end of the episode. Oh yeah, new flux jackets are out. Give them a little, <laughs> little look if you want. Thank you for watching. As I said before, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.